sacrifice one of your loved ones. It's okay, Evangeline. I understand. I can't let you go. I warned you. Wait, take me instead. <laughs> I like plushies. Nope. I don't like them. I love them. So if you don't like plushies, don't watch this video. Or do. And let's see if I can change your mind. Plushies are adorable. Seriously, there is nothing cuter than plushies. The design, the fabric, and their cute little faces. And they're soft. Like, super duper soft. Your stuffed animal isn't just a toy. It's your friend you get to play with and take with you everywhere you go. Plushies give you a sense of comfort and security. <laughs> and most importantly, they never judge you. Plushies are also collectibles, and I love to collect things. I'm in a lot of fandoms, but when I was a kid, my favorite plushies to collect were Beanie Boos. Now, Beanie Boos stood out to me because they were cute little cuddly animals and they had these huge colorful glittery eyes. I could not choose my favorite. That's like asking a mother to choose her favorite child. Well, for my mom, that's easy. Me. And each Beanie Boo came with a birthday tag that had its name and a short poem about the animal's personality. Before you ask, yes. I had non-stop Beanie Boo birthday parties because it was always someone's birthday. Don't judge. I didn't go to school. I was homeschooled. These Beanie Boos were my friends. So if it's Lush's birthday, then yeah, we are gonna have a party. Side tangent, when I was eight years old, my grandpa brought me two suitcases full of Beanie Babies. That was literally the happiest day of my life. Grandparents, Take notes. Don't listen to the kids' parents who think it's too much junk for the house. Get your grandkid a suitcase full of Beanie Babies. They'll remember it forever. Most kids play with their stuffed animals like this. You are now man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mwah, 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 mwah. But I played like this. Cassandra, no! You can't marry him. He's an alien taking over the planet. Everyone run! Run for your life! I'd like to apologize in advance for what you're about to see. And to apologize to my plushies that I may have given trauma during our playtime. The following is a reenactment of one of my favorite games to play with my Beanie Boos. Law and fluffiness. Your Honor, my client Marshmallow Sprinkle Paws is seeking full custody of her children. How could you? They're my kids too! You spilled a juice box on Cuddlebug's fur! He's got permanent stains because of you! That was an accident, and you know it! Are you ever gonna let me forget it? What about Giggle Wiggle's ripped seam? I told you not to take her to the park that day. She had a loose string, but you never listen! You can't take my kids away! I won't let you! I've got nothing else to live for! Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wiggly Wobblebottom, I said order! Order! You're pure evil! Oh yeah? You'll never see your kids again! Uh... I don't really have an explanation. I've always had a really vivid imagination. And my parents don't really fight in real life, so... Maybe I saw some episode of the Wonder Pets about... Divorce? There's a Beanie Boo in trouble! There's a Beanie Boo in trouble! trouble somewhere. I don't know about you, but my parents have a lot of rules when it comes to my plushies. Which I find annoying because they're mine. Everywhere I go, I bring a plushie. Everywhere. I can't pick one. My plushies have spouses, children, backstories. They're family. Don't leave us! Seriously, I can't separate my family. I don't know how my parents sleep at night. When I was a kid, this battle between me and my parents happened every night. And every night, I put up a fight. I never won, but that didn't stop me from fighting for what was right. But the worst rule is when we would move to a new house. <sighs> this is hard for me to relive. We move a lot. 
And every time we move, my parents make me get rid of some of my plushies. They say too many. Too much clutter. They take up too much space. Yes, I have over 200 plushies, but not a single one of them deserve to be pushed out there onto the streets to fend for themselves or end up at Goodwill. So now, I'd like to take a moment to remember those we have lost. My parents refused to buy me any plushies, even as a gift. But that's okay, because I have my own credit card. I can buy as many plushies as I want. Oh, hey. Honestly, the only reason I'm gonna learn to drive is so I can go buy more plushies. Sure, I have to sneak them into the house sometimes, but that's just to avoid the look of disappointment for my parents. Why do you think I wear such baggy clothes? To hide plushies, duh. And someday, when I'm a grown up, I'm gonna have my own house filled with plushies. We'll have birthday parties every day. And when my mom and dad come to visit, you know what I'm gonna say? Sorry, I don't have room for both of you. You'll need to pick one. But your honor, it was an accident. I promise, I didn't mean to steal. Order, order in the court. Watch this next video. You will see undeniable proof of the outrageous crimes committed by the one and only Evangeline. Then you will decide the punishment for her criminal activity. Case closed.